Hi guys, I'm Fred Bailey. And I'm Mike Perry with Yellow Blue. And I'm the guy that brought Blue Max to you guys. We're here to do an installation at a house today. What we've done prior to going inside, which we're about to do, is ask the homeowner to lower the thermostatic settings on these air conditioners to as cold as they'll get. So they'll be forced to run and these systems will be providing and producing as cold air out of the vents as they're ever going to do. We want to give this system a fair shot because we're going to lower the temperature coming out of these vents significantly and we want the homeowner to be able to see that and we don't want them to think there was any kind of fluke. So we're going to go in and record some temperatures now. Come on in with us. Now we're inside the house now and what we're going to do is we're going to lower this thermostat to the, a, a low enough setting to make sure that this system is running. And we do that for two reasons. Number one, we don't want the system to shut off while we're installing the Blue Max, first of all. And number two, we want to make the air as cold as it's ever going to get coming out of these vents. And if these folks just got home from work and I, they've been gone all day, the duct work up in the attic is going to be hot and we want to cool it off. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower this thermostat. And this particular house has three thermostats because it's got several different systems in several different zones. So you, don't, you want to make sure that you go to every thermostat in the house and set it as low as you can get it to set it to make sure it keeps running and that it's putting out as cold of air as it's ever going to put out. Now that we've got that lowered, we're going to wait 15 to 30 minutes to make sure that the system is putting out as cold air as it ever will. Now, you can do this by yourself. Mike and I are here together to do it today. And now we're going to shoot the temperature on this supply vent. 67 degrees, Mike. Now we're in another part of the house, and we're going to see what the reading is here. It's 56.1, Mike. We've got the temperatures uh, recorded at several locations in the home and with our thermometer. Now we're getting ready to go out and install the Blue Max into the system. Okay, guys, now we're outside at the air conditioning units. There's three units here, and we're going to treat all three of them. Uh, they're, they're running as they're supposed to be. Make sure they're all running when you treat them. These ports are low to the ground, so we're going to get a different camera angle when we start installing the product. Okay guys, now we're getting ready to install the Blue Max. And something you need to understand, there's some simple tools that you need to have with you all the time. Mike has got a Schrader tool in his hand. We'll explain what that is later. This is a simple nut driver in case you have to take any covers or any metal parts off the air conditioning housing in order to get to the low pressure port. You may need a pair of simple channel locks to loosen the covers on these ports. Always have rags with you. And of course you'll need your pump. Now we're going to install the Blue Max into the pump. It's very simple. Hold this pump. This is what I call the upright position. You simply unscrew the tube from the pump head. Then you take the calibration. Oh yeah. These bottles are all calibrated. They come with 32 ounces in them, a full quart from Yellow Blue. And what you're going to do is you're going to pour out of this into your pump tubing. And then you're going to pour more than you're going to actually install into that unit. And then when you get through and doing the installation, you pour what's left back over back into the, the quart bottle and read where it's calibrated. If you're if you're treating a five-ton unit, you'll put five ounces of material into that air conditioner. Pour the remainder back into here. If you started with 32 ounces, this calibration should read 27 ounces after you do that installation. So now let's put the Blue Max in. Now one thing you want to be careful of when you start putting the tube back onto the pump head, you want to make sure that when you start turning this that you don't get any resistance. If you get resistance, it means you have probably cross-threaded it, at which time you need to stop, back it up, and start over. When you get no resistance, when it screws in real easy like it just did, then you're okay. The next thing you want to do is invert the pump because we've got to, to, we've got to purge the air out of this installation line, and you do that by slowly pumping the handle, you usually take about four pumps 
to get all that air out. Do it slowly so you don't get a face full. And as soon as you see liquid at the top of this fitting, you stop. Then you're ready to come over to the unit itself and do the installation. So now we're going to remove this, this nozzle cover off the Schrader. Always place this so you'll be familiar with where you put it because you're going to have to put that back on. We always want to re leave this system exactly as we found it. Now you simply take the, the hose and screw this fitting onto that Schrader. And now we know that this is a five ton unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put five ounces of Blue Max into this system. And we know that this pump is calibrated. So what we're going to do, somewhere between six, six strokes of this pump handle is just a little less than an ounce. And seven strokes of this pump handle is just a little more than an ounce. So we're going to go ahead and use seven strokes to put one ounce. And we've got five tons or five ounces. So we're going to put five times seven is 35 strokes of this pump handle. Okay, that's 35 strokes. So now we're going to remove the fitting off the Schrader. Put the cap back on. And that completes that installation on this unit. Guys, this is a five ton unit right here. And the way that I know that, you can reference this model number right here. And in that model number is a number embedded that's a multiple of 12. This is a five ton unit. And you look over in this model number and you find a number 60. 60 divided by 12 is 5, so that's is a 5 ton unit. If this was a 3 ton unit, the number that you would find in the model number would be 36, because 3 times 12 is 36. Now we've already checked, and this is an older 3 ton unit that Mike's going to be treating now. He'll pump the pump handle 21 times, because there's 3 tons and it takes 7 ounces, 7 pumps to administer 1 ounce, 7 times 3 is 21, so we'll put 21 strokes in that. What he's doing is evacuating the hose back into the quart bottle. Didn't put him at eight. Okay, Mike, we installed the Blue Max and we had our readings from before. What was the one that we're about to check? Uh, here in the living room, it was 68.6. .6. All right, let's see what it is. Sixty-two point four. That's, That's a, a pretty good drop. Amazing. Now let's go in and check the kitchen. Okay, we're in the kitchen now, Mike. What was this reading before? It was fifty-six even. Okay, let's see what we got now. We got fifty-one six. That's great. That's an excellent drop. They're saving money now. Saving a lot of money now. They should be delighted. Okay, guys, you've seen the significant drop we did in the temperatures at the vents inside. The homeowners satisfied, believe that we did everything we said we were going to do. So that's just about it. And remember, you have to be EPA certified to put this in the systems. So Yellow Blue can help you get that EPA certification. And what it does is help people save money, conserve energy, and protect the environment.